Welcome to Rubio's Mission Bay. On a recent morning, Ralph Rubio looks on as one of his employees drops a few strips of battered fish into a deep fryer. This little strip of fish, wrapped in a corn tortilla, topped with cabbage, tomato, onion, and cream sauce, is the gold mine that's allowed Rubio's Fresh Mexican Grill to expand to 195 restaurants in five states ever since this one opened in San Diego in 1983. The menu has evolved quite a bit, but the fish taco has essentially stayed the same. Rubio's is generally credited with popularizing the fish taco and turning it into one of the region's favorite fast foods. But other restaurants were serving fish tacos before Rubio opened his first restaurant. And in fact, Rubio had his own inspiration south of the border. In the 70s, he and a bunch of college friends took a camping trip to a small Baja California beach town called San Felipe. They ate fish tacos morning, noon, and night. And one day, Rubio approached a man working at one of his favorite taco stands. His name was Carlos, this, this older gentleman. I asked him, well, what goes in the beer batter? And so he told me oregano, mustard, garlic salt, uh, pep, black pepper, salt. I wrote down the ingredients for the uh, batter recipe, and I carried it around with me for years before I started Rubio's. But it was just a list. So when he finally decided to open a restaurant a few years later, Rubio and his brother had to tinker with proportions. Judging by the growth of the Rubio's chain, they succeeded, but Rubio acknowledges. Yeah, there, there's just something special about a cold cerveza and a fish taco down in Baja that is pretty hard to replicate. I mean, I think we come pretty close, but there's just something special. San Felipe is perched on the eastern coast of Baja, California, about four hours from San Diego. It's separated from mainland Mexico by the Sea of Cortez, and it's hard to imagine that this scorching, dusty speck of a town could have been the inspiration for the fish tacos explosion north of the border. But stroll the boardwalk and allow Alejandra Sanchez to lure you into El Guero seafood restaurant, and any doubts quickly melt away. No, pues mucha gente la pide. Y nosotros se la damos con gusto, pero... Sanchez says she's never heard of Rubio's or its story, but says many Americans come here and, after tasting the tacos, ask for the recipe themselves. We give it to them, she says, and sometimes they come back and I ask how they turned out. Some of them say delicious, others not so good. In the kitchen, cook Gloria Camacho says, of course San Felipe's tacos are delicious. The fish in her fryer was swimming in the Sea of Cortez just a few hours ago. Camacho hadn't heard of Rubio's either, but when I showed her a takeout menu that lists dozens of Rubio's restaurant locations in the U.S., she couldn't believe its success. <laughs> so he came and stole our recipe, she says. Actually, she says she gives her batter recipe out too, but never the exact recipe. It is a business after all. Sanchez says she's happy San Felipe has made its mark north of the border. Back in San Diego, at Rubio's original store, Jeff Northrup is happy about that too. He's been to San Felipe and says the tacos anywhere else aren't quite as good. But he's just finished his swimming workout and is eating two fish tacos the way he does about twice a week. And it's good for you. It's not high cholesterol, like hamburger. Indeed, more recently, fish tacos have been marketed as health food. That's no surprise, considering the body consciousness of many Southern Californians. As that kind of consciousness spreads to other parts of the country, the lightness of coastal cuisine, and especially fish tacos, is a message Rubio's plans to bank on. And it's just a delicious, fresh, light way to eat, you know, that uh, American consumers are gravitating to. So it's a good thing. Adrian Florido, KPBS News.